Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. We're in the final hour of us hanging out together. Time has just got so fast because we're having sure. the best of fun. And on the couch, we've got the best of the boys with us. Do they know about <laughs> entertainment news? We're about to find out. We still have Bruce with us as well as Anton. And then you might recognize the guy on the right. That's Graham. Yes, he's still here from Barcelona. And hopefully he also maybe came across some really special people as we catch up with our favorite celebrities. I'm just going to throw a name out there, nod or disagree. Okay. Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, yeah, come on, girl. girl. Come on. I love me some Tyler. And I feel like at every opportunity, she keeps showing up and just flying that South African yeah. flag so high. Is she the hottest entertainer in the world right now? It kind of feels yes. like she is the it girl, yeah? She is the it girl, and it's really great to see. She kind of reminds me of Rihanna when she just got started out. And we hope not for a good girl gone bad with her, but we'll see as the journey goes. Recently, she's just been announced as headlining the Victoria's Secret show that is going to be coming out. I can't wait to see her. It returns after a bit of a short recess and they're going to be showcasing, of course, the angels and the lingerie. And Tyler's just going to be looking so good singing and doing her thing with that. <laughs> you want to see Tyler in I, some lingerie? I don't think I'm even allowed to talk about this. I don't think I'm even allowed to speak now. I don't think that's it. I think I'm not even allowed. Okay, great. Not you. No. Let's go to the younger crowd. It's going to be great. You want to see Tyler in some lingerie? <laughs> I mean... Don't you? <laughs> you? I personally do. I think she's really going to dress up according to the theme mm. and it's going to be so good to see her rocking it and also yeah. hopefully bringing like a Mzanzi twist to it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Now she will. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Have yeah. you stopped visualizing yet? And yeah. have you engaged your... your well, I just want to say, I, you know, for me, what I love most about Tyler is her accent. You know, oh, um, oh. she's got a very proudly... South African <laughs> accent, and of course, I don't even really notice what she what she looks like. Of course, um, I must say I think my, my girlfriend's like a curvy Tyler. If I if I were to describe oh, it, so, wow. so then I think it's fine that I would appreciate Tyler in in lingerie fine. just because it's kind of like looking at my <laughs> girlfriend. You, you can see this is boy maths, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is boy maths going I'm, I'm down. I'm trying alive. to balance it out. I'm trying, man, but I just we might have to use AI to balance it. Out. Yeah. Good. No, I love that. Um, but we really are excited to see her take on this performance, mm. headlining something so incredible. Yes. And yes. also South African on that stage is something we've never seen mm. before. And as a girl who also loves lingerie, like it's so great to be able to see the worlds coming together. Well, speaking about some local news, let's get into Tebow Touch. Now, this story kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Let uh, me tell you that mm. much. So Tebow Touch has taken to social media and said, yes, you know, I'm the best to ever do it. We know, we love you, media personality and mobile. We can respect you on that. But then he said something like, you know what, guys, we should not treat cars as status symbols. It's not something that you should be spending your hard earned money on as something to sort of brag about and wear it as something to be proud of. Like it's your worth. Like yeah. it's your worth. Yeah. Linking those two together. I'm going... Sir, I feel like I've seen you in beautiful cars before. Mm. I feel like I've seen you pulling up in the best of the best before. So do you first Je get vendu. to that point mm. before you can say that? Let you us draw the line at your jacket too. or the yeah. car or your shoes <laughs> you know or your I'm shades. Saying. Where's that do line? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. I just think let people do what makes them happy, you yeah. know? And like, yeah, I suppose if we look very deep, it's important to like, you know, our worth is not defined by our assets and stuff. Someone wants to save up and work and get themselves a nice car. Do you have a different car that you drive to yoga in? <laughs> <laughs> to the one that you drive around? <laughs> Santon? Be honest. Santon. <laughs> I'm going to be deadly honest with you. I have quite a nice car and I feel quite embarrassed <laughs> being like a yoga teacher. Like I should rock up. It's quite a, like, so I, like I, a I literally are quite electric at the very least. <laughs> no, it's not. Charles, quite a lot of petrol. I actually, this is a true story. I park around the corner because how am I going to sit there and be like, namaste. And they're like, what is that is? What? Like, <laughs> namaste, I must go in my car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Should have come me on a bicycle. What do you even mean? I mean, when it comes to, I mean, you are part of the younger generation. Yeah. Let's be honest, Bruce. Do you place a lot of value on looking good in your car? Is that still something that happens? I guess to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not one to see like the fancy car and be like, this guy has money. Right. You, you, you can be broke and have a fancy car at the same time. Mm -hmm. so That's I a think, very South African way, yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I think people are just doing it like for image. Right. Like a lot of it is for image, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And to his point, I think that is what he yeah. was saying like actually live a good life actually make some real money What's you don't your have social to impact? have it portable yeah great mm. you're gonna ask the deep questions mm. okay let's ask Come on, man. what is your social impact <laughs> we've got to get into it well that is cj spruce take on the whole thing 
But let's look at some more local news. I absolutely love this group. Their name is Good Luck. And I'm pretty sure they just recently welcomed in a new baby Yay. girl into their lives. So congratulations to Jules and the family. But they've also collaborated on something great. It's called Tandiwe. Now, they were actually scrolling on TikTok and they came across this beautiful acoustic version of a song by somebody named Shamzito. And they said, this one right here, we got to jump on it for a remix. So they just felt connected to the song. We have to check it out to see what the song is all about. So you guys can give your take on it as well. of them disseminating the clicks and trying to ascertain exactly what did you make of that? The other, yeah. It's a proper song. I, mean, like, yeah, song. Like, I enjoy the, the rhythm. I must get it. Like, that's my, my style of music. You're Same here. Like, yeah. Can you just imagine yourself, I mean, if I had a convertible, I would be in the convertible yeah. listening to it. Hair blowing, pulling out to a yeah. beach. Like, it just gives me those summer vibes. Mm. Wouldn't be embarrassed to show that wealth, though. And as a body, say, we'd be, we'd be in a rickshaw. No, I'd be running the rickshaw with you behind me. I'd be teleporting <laughs> with my yoga skills. So done. Regardless of your transportation, we are going to be jamming to the song for sure. I absolutely love Good Luck. They always just bring their extra spice on songs when they remix them. They take it to the next level. Yeah, well, you know, he, we're here, the, the two white boys speaking closer, so it's great to see Good Luck embracing <laughs> also yeah. uh, And Tandiwe means like uh, loved, you are loved. Mm, you are so loved. isn't that we are, and I got to say, Good Luck, you are loved with mm. this beautiful song that you yeah. brought out. Oh, yeah. They oh, love nice, the industry. Man. How often, I mean, Ben set up a studio so yeah. that he could help other artists, just mm. purely so you could have a professional space, mm. a top world-class professional mm. space for artists that no one knew about yeah. to come in and plug into. Now you've got the best artists in South Africa, like Ben, you mind if I, you mind if I come in and hang around <laughs> in, your, in your studio? But there is something I understand that we are we only rise together. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And I love them for that. Oh. Congratulations on the bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Yeah. <laughs> what was that phrase that you taught us, Anton? Um to goom to gabantu. Um to goom to gabantu, because yes. that is what it's all about. I love mm. it. Well, one person that I would love to give a South African name is Drake. Okay. You know ah. how the celebs come and we're like, oh. mm, Sipo, mm, <laughs> you're looking kind of like a... Yes, that's somebody that I would love to rename. Could you say, what, what, what does Drake look like if you could rename him? He, he looks a bit to me like, um, uh, I don't know if you know, Caesar and Puffer Welsh. Yeah. Like he's the, the, he, but can I just quickly say, yes. I'm, I know it, I'm in short supply. I'm a Drake fan. Like in the oh, yeah. whole Kendrick, Drake beef, I'm on Team Drake. No. Like, oh, I'm yeah. 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 He's like funny, he's cool, he's got a beard. Yeah, he's a little bit older. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, as you can see, I'm a minority here. Yeah, I know. No, listen, I do love Drake, and I got super excited when a rumor went around that Drake might be coming to South <sighs> Africa. Because we've been wishing yeah. and hoping that this moment About would happen. Time. Kendrick has been mm -hmm. here a couple times. Mm -hmm. We're like, ah, old news. But Drake, please come through. Well, some news went around with Mabala Noise, a boss and former ANC Youth League treasurer. Reggie and Kabinde, and they've teamed up with Malcolm X as well as Gregory Wings to perhaps bring the Canadian rapper down to Amzanzi shores in 2025. I know you're going to be front row. Definitely. Gold What's your favorite drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your He's favorite not going to understand you. He's not going to understand um, where you're coming from, man. God, God's plan, God's man. Plan. God's plan. Be. Would you say the same? Yeah, same thing. When I'm it's driving in my state of simple car. <laughs> then it's God's okay. Plan. Then it's allowed. <laughs> uh, but he seems like another artist who is ready to bring the next artist up. And you yeah. can imagine for mm -hmm. South African mm -hmm. artists to share a stage, to share a background yeah. area yeah. like that, a green room yes. with someone of that ilk and understand how similar we can actually be. Those moments are so powerful in yeah. the industry. Yeah, and Drake yeah. has done so many collabs already. I mean, yeah. Black Coffee has already been on his radar, and Tyler, I know he's got his eye on Tyler. He followed her on social media too, so mm. we're going to see some great things happening. So yes, tickets for Drake? 
Uh, maybe. Depends on the price. No, I got you covered. Don't <laughs> I'm not, worry, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a fan. Oh, <laughs> wow. Not, not that much of a He's fan. He's going to be sending us all tickets <laughs> in a beautiful be, little car. We'll all be there together, <laughs> no. dressed in our Drake outfits. Yeah. <laughs> not the hotline bling outfits. I thought you were going to say our crop tops. I, I think that would also be really cute. Well, the boys and I are definitely going to prepare ourselves for Drake, hopefully coming in 2025. Mm. Please make this happen for us. But that is it from the entertainment news desk today.